Hey guys, welcome to Tuma Talks. Today we're gonna to kick start the episode with a little bit around the mood of the Surrey Hills and Redfern market, and I'm also gonna answer some frequently asked questions. There's been a lot of changes recently in infrastructure, and the main one coming to mind has been the light rail. The mood is one of hesitation and anticipation. A lot of people are trying to figure out how it's all gonna unfold, and is the old energy of Surrey Hills gonna come back? So the public's opinion right now of the Redfern and Surrey Hills market is quite interesting. You know, most of the locals I'm actually speaking to think that Redfern and Surrey Hills has been wearing a bulletproof vest for the last two years. But obviously, you know, being involved in sales and being at the forefront of this, you know, what I can report is we haven't been unscathed. You know, like all markets, we've sort of seen somewhere between 10 and 15% reduction from the peak to the trout. And, and, you know, even though we are in an A grade market, you know, we certainly have felt the full effects of the property downturn. So one of the most frequently asked questions at the moment is, Charles, should I buy or sell first? And my instructions are fairly clear when it comes to this sort of question, safety first. So in a market that's vulnerable, there's a lot of headwind and turbulence out there, the best approach is to sell your property, cash in, understand exactly what you've got to play with, then go out to the market and look for the perfect property for you. The challenge is when you sort of commit first and you buy first, then you're gonna be held hostage to the market and you're gonna have to consider any offer that's thrown your way. So should you wait for the market to bottom out before you buy? Interesting, I've put a lot of thought into this one and given the market's come back sort of 10 to 15% wherever you look, I think there's enough um, shift in the market to encourage and influence buyers that they're getting good value. What I would look for now is focus on buying the best grade category asset you can possibly find rather than trying to pick the bottom. If you're trying to pick the bottom nine times out of 10, you're gonna miss it. And as soon as you miss the bottom, the market will go up quicker than you think. And you're gonna get caught in that rat race and go to the fear of missing out. So what are the stock levels like in Redfern and Surrey Hills? Back in the GFC, I think it was in 2010, we saw 77 houses currently on the market. This was the last time I experienced the property market downturn, even close to what we're experiencing right now. At the minute, there's only 34 houses on the market in Redfern and Surrey Hills. And I do believe that this is actually holding the market together. You could only imagine what would happen if there was another 50% of properties on the market right now. Wouldn't be pretty. So how have auctions performed this year when we compare it to 2018? Well, the tempo of this year has definitely started on a high. The first round of auctions at Bressy Whitney, we actually sold nine out of 10 auctions. And last week we sold 23 out of 28. These sorts of clearance rates were unheard of throughout 2018, where the average clearance rate hovered around 40%. So when is the best time to sell? Well, if you're preparing your property, go to the market in 2019, there's some clear parts to the year which I think you should really focus on. The first one being the pre-Easter sale. Now, if you've got your property in a position to go to market and have an auction date before the Easter school holidays, that would be my first recommendation. If you can't make the market by that time, always launching straight after the Anzac Day public holiday is always a good idea. But if you can't meet that deadline, then I would just wait for the June, July period to sort of go through. A lot of people go overseas and chase that endless summer. And what I'd be looking for is a launch date around September, October, but probably not November because you're going to get too congested right before Christmas. So how do you get the best value out of this current market? If you're a buyer, it's simple. You've got the best ability right now to buy some A-grade assets around town without having that sort of competition that you saw back in 2017. The best way to approach the market is not worry about how many other buyers are interested. In 2016 and 17, buyers kept complaining to me that there was like five or six other buyers trying to buy the property. And now I get buyers whinging that there's no one else trying to buy it. So at the moment, you've got a one-on-one -on -one negotiation right now with some of the best properties in town. Take advantage of that. And for sellers right now, what you can't change is the win, but you can adjust your sales. There's so many sellers going to the market with the wrong recommendations and strategy. So you can actually be very strategic. And if you actually adopt the right formula and strategy in today's market, it, you're gonna leave all the competition behind. So in all guys, regardless of the market, good, bad or indifferent, always look for the opportunity. If you're a buyer, there's some amazing opportunities, but if you're a seller, if you're strategic and you're smart, once again, you can really use this market to your advantage. As always, thanks for watching. And if you've got any questions or concerns, please hit me up, message me, DM me, peace.